Why am I doing this? Even little Edith might mug me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if this could be everyone's cup of tea, but oh well. <gasps> Did I just break my these long arms? I feel like I want to be like, hi. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to a monthly haul. What I bought this month, whatever I'm calling it these days. Welcome to it. Basically what I bought in June. Oh, oh, I really can't do that. I've been trying so hard. Oh, oh, ow. No wonder I have problems with my vocal cords. What do people say? What do proper YouTubers say? So if you want to see what I got, just keep watching. And click the thumbs up if you like this kind of video. <laughs> First up, I've got this little, is it woven or wicker? I always get that wrong. Bag. And I love it. It's so cute. It was £10. I just like that you can wear it like this, which I probably will never do. Or just, you know, on your shoulder. And it's also lined. It's got a little pocket inside. Also got this cardigan, which is very similar to the... One that I got from In The Style with the ribbed material. And it also has like a slit at either side. It was £10, I think, as opposed to, I think it was like 22 the one I paid for In The Style. I'd say it's a little bit thinner, but it's absolutely fine. It's in like an oatmeal -y colour. Do people actually want people to say the colours? I always wonder this, like you can see the colour, right? But I guess maybe if it looks different on screen, but yeah, it's like this oatmeal -y colour. So I just thought it was handy to have because when I say I live in that other one, I literally do. So I thought I need to have another one. I also want this in black, but I didn't actually see any. So if I do, I'm going to get that. But I just think they're quite flattering and easy to chuck on, especially in the summer month. I hope the people that said in my vlog that you wanted to see what I got from Primark are not disappointed. Sorry. I then got another bag because they just had loads of the cute woven range. And... um. Oh, I don't know. I really am so shit at describing things. It's like round, but not round because it's got these bits. It'd be good to go on holiday, which I'm not going on this year. But either way, I even kind of like it with jeans and a white top. This was also £10. I feel like I've seen these for a lot more. And it's good quality. And it's only £10. And it has a zip. I feel like a zip on a bag is very important. Because I watch way too many crime documentaries, literally everyone, even your nan, even little Edith might mug me. <laughs> How have I got here? But anyway, a zip, a zip is important. Oh. <laughs> Most people when they film holes, it's so funny, they're like, they've got a zip, blah, 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 they're all professional. And yet again, I'm here like, even Edith could rob me. I wouldn't want that, so it's got a zip. I was a bit disappointed that it didn't have a zip section in the side when I used it. But you know, it's not the end of the world, Primark, it's not the end of the world. But it does have one of those little pouches. That's my bag that Edith can't get into. Edith? Edna? 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 I saw this on Elle Darby's haul. I was fully influenced. This belt, how cute is that? It's really stretchy and it's not one of those that have loops. So you can literally put it in. Whatever you want to put it in. Looks like that little bag, the little round one that I showed you at the start. I thought it would go nicely if I was to wear the bag and this belt. And I got it in a medium, if you were wondering. Oh. <laughs> it was... What the fuck was that? And it was £4.15. I technically didn't get this. Or when I went to Primark, I got it before lockdown, but when I showed you what I've been buying in lockdown, Primark wasn't open. I don't know if this could be everyone's cup of tea, but oh well. So it's a scarf, but it's really sheer, like you can literally see me through it. I on sheer, and it's like block colours. I just thought it's nice to like, say I was wearing, maybe this outfit, no, a bit too much with the arms. But like, say I was wearing jeans, just a plain white t-shirt, some sliders and this. Do you know what I mean? I know I just love it, you know, just add a little scarf, feeling a bit plain Jane, just zhuzh it up. <laughs> I will not be wearing it like this. Oh my god, you can even do that thing where people tie it round handbags. I mean, maybe not. <gasps> In my hair. Okay, it's probably a bit too big for that. Anyway, this was under £10, can't remember the price, but I just really am quite fond of it. And then lastly from Primark, a good, oh my god, they're so dirty. They're still doing. 
are these glasses. You cannot go wrong with pre-marche glasses. I mainly wear them on my head and not actually on my face. Yes, I'm sure you're really not that interested, but these were two pound. I did actually show these on my vlog, but you might not have watched the vlog. And if you didn't, why not? Watch it now, go on. Love you, pop. Moving on to H&M. Guess what I got from H&M. I only went and got another place it, didn't I? Yeah, I know. Are you bored yet? I just love them and I thought I'd go for a little yellow number. Little flowers on, I thought it was cute. I don't know, I don't know if I suit yellow, but if you don't already know, I love H&M play suits. They are 12 99 and I normally get them in a size 10. I actually don't know at this point if I can actually get any more play suits because it's like, so boring. But they're comfy. I just get so much out of them, I'm actually obsessed. But if you're looking for something easy to chuck on, play suit. And then again from H&M, shock, another play suit. Stripey navy play suit. And I thought this would be nice with like the wicker style bags. I don't really wear navy, but I like navy and white stripes. This one in a size 10 too, and this was also 12 99 I think they have more. I have people DM me like, H&M have got new play suits in. And I'm like, don't do it, don't do it. And then I'm just there looking. I just, oh, they're just so comfy. Next is a bit of a random one. You're probably wondering what the hell it is. A spritz stewed with. Probably shouldn't spray a camera with water. I was expecting this to be less like fake and more goldy, but this is what I got. I think it's cute. It's basically just a spritz your plants that need a bit more moisture, like Judith. And it is, I think it's four pound from eBay. I'll link that below. Not that anyone is gonna want one of these, but you never know. Next is this. This is from Ikea. I think it's not the smallest. It's the next size up. And just has this gold. Gold. Inside, it lights up so nice and warm. Someone actually said on Instagram but that these look like boobs. And I actually loved it even more after that. And I don't know why. It's probably really weird. But yeah, here's my boob light. <laughs> it's not dark, so you can't really tell. But it gives this really nice light off. It's like ambiance. This was £19. And that's what it looks like lit up. Obviously, it's really light in here. And also, a few little beauty bits. I only include interesting beauty or cleaning stuff. I don't know if this is classed as interesting, but it will be like, I got this disposable razor. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I got the Mario Podescu, Podescu facial spray with alloy, cucumber and green tea. I've norm I normally get the other one, but I thought I'd give this one a go. Not sure why, but... I like it, give it a little spritz. I don't know why I'm showing you, because you know what to do, but why do I want to do this now? Okay, I'm doing it. Here's me demonstrating my Mario Badescu spray. <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> How do girls make that look so good? But it is so refreshing. Admittedly, the other one smells nicer, but I don't know, I just want to try it out. For dull, tired skin with an infusion of nutrient-rich botanicals and cucumber essential water. It is part of my skincare or just a spritz over after you've done your makeup, before, whatever. You do you. I also got the Squalane cleanser. I'm not actually sure if that's how you pronounce the name, but it's the Ordinary Cleanser. I've used an Ordinary Cleanser before and they're normally oil-based. I got this to see if it would take off my waterproof mascara and it does so i recommend that and this was six pound something and i think this was ten pound something i know so helpful but i'll link it below and then lastly i had to top up on my cantu curl activator cream if you've got curly hair give it a go don't get this from boots because it's cheaper in places like Superdrug or sainsbury's you've been professional with saving the primark bag so that i can do it a thumbnail. <laughs> Did I just break my t Oh my god, I just broke my top. Let me just put my top back on. That was everything I bought in June. And give the video a thumbs up if you like the video or you want to see what I get in July. Peace out. And then you went to say, peace out. And you say, A-Town. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Bye, bitches!
Girl, bye. See ya.